In my adult life, I've been in jail more than a little bit. Actually, I've been in jail a lot. Nothing crazy, not prison, just regular different county jails. And I've been locked up with people who have committed or allegedly committed all kinds of crimes. But the charges that stick out to me most, the defendants that stick out to me most, are those who were in there on conspiracy charges. There are countless individuals at this very moment doing time on conspiracy charges or fighting such charges in the courts, be it for drugs or murder or fraud, all kinds of different conspiracy charges. These allegations, the claims, all start with the theory developed and usually thoroughly investigated by various law enforcement officers of any given agency throughout the world, from Interpol to local city cops and sheriff deputies or what have you. But you never hear of them being classified or considered to be conspiracy theorists. Yet, by definition, this is exactly what most detectives are. Conspiracy theorists, they see something that seems sketchy and believe that a crime has been committed, yet they have no proof. They have a theory <laughs> of a conspiracy. And they have no problem pursuing these theories. My point is, I don't understand the sentiment of ridicule associated with the phrase, quote unquote, conspiracy theory or conspiracy theorists. The majority of conspiracy theories in general, not just with law enforcement, but there's all kinds of different people who believe all kinds of different things. I'm not anyone to judge, but it's usually the result of a lack of trust in strangers. And rightfully so, I would say. People are people. Strangers are strangers. Be they regular random people we encounter on the streets, I use the term regular loosely, <laughs> or even online, not even on the streets, or be they people in boardrooms and legislation offices or wherever they do it. <laughs> I personally don't know those people. And I fail to understand why any stranger feels entitled to a trust reserved for my closest associates. If that, we all possess the right to question whatever we feel the need to question until our concerns are quelled and our curiosities are satisfied. Otherwise, we might as well believe anything that any stranger ever tells us, ever, the way I see it. If I don't know you, then I do not know you. When common sense is applied, interacting with strangers in public places, physical and or digital, begs the same protocol and procedure for individuals who are not well known to me. Be they bums in a back alley or the bosses of any corporate boardroom. And with that being said, allow me to introduce myself. I am Feral Arrow. This is the Feral Arrow podcast, feralarrow.com. And I enjoy exploring alternative explanations of fun speculation when it comes to historical and current events and possibly even future events. Things, things just don't always <sighs> appear to be what they seem at first glance. And sometimes they just need further discussion and further examination without the air of ridicule surrounding it. You don't want to miss this podcast. You can find me on YouTube. You can find me at feralero.com. You can find me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, TikTok, all Feral Arrow. Subscribe, follow, share. You won't regret it. This is a safe place for people who 